654 Weather Now Tower Cam Network, sponsored by Brighter Side Roofing. Isn't it so weird that at 640 it's already dark outside? Well, it is, and we are seeing a live look over the Fox 54 Studio Tower Cam Network. For mostly cloudy skies this evening, water vapor loop starting to pick off, especially here in the southeast. We're seeing somewhat dry conditions. We did see a bit of atmospheric moisture down towards the south. That's our subtropical jet stream. That's actually going to be moving in heading into late this weekend. Next weather system that we are monitoring as well is the this low pressure system off the coast of Southern California and you can see that spiraling. We've been monitoring monitoring that for the last couple of days. Definitely going to be making its way here to us for elevated rain chances. Temperatures now are into the 40s, 47 in Aiken, 49 in Thompson and 49 in Louisville. Nice and chilly. Dew points are pretty dry. We're not going to be seeing too much um, activity heading through the weekend. So we got good news. You're going to see a nice weekend but unfortunately a rainy Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. Here's a look at the current radar. We are seeing a couple of clear scout, um, sky patches up towards the north by Washington, McCormick, and even Aiken, maybe um, a clear patch or two. But for the most part, we're seeing those upper level clouds, more of the wispy clouds and alto stratus clouds. So they're very nice and high. Definitely makes for a nice evening. 37 degrees here for a evening low. Decreasing clouds, still going to be chilly. Don't let that um, above freezing temperature fool you. Definitely bring a jacket out if you're headed it out tonight. 67 degrees for our high tomorrow, a warmer morning, and we're going to see that evening low also for our morning low. Sunny skies will continue for tomorrow. It's going to be a beautiful day, and unfortunately for Christmas Eve, we're going to start to see elevated rain chances. So 50% chance for Christmas Eve or 50 degrees, and then cloudy skies. Going to see maybe a pop-up shower or two, about 10 to 20% chance for showers in the late evening. And then we're going to also be tracking Santa here on Fox 54 Christmas Eve. So join our chief meteorologist Jay Jeffries for tracking Santa and when he's going to be making his way to the CSRA. So join us then and we'll have all of that tracking for you there. So Christmas Day forecast, we're going to see a temperature of 63 degrees, overcast conditions and rainy. It's not going to be a white Christmas, but a rainy one. And we're expecting a bit of rainfall from this one, more scattered to widespread showers. We have two systems. First one is that low pressure off to the coast of California that moves on up towards the north and then down towards the south you can see more activity near New Orleans Louisiana and even Alabama and Mississippi they're going to start to get that as well that's a low pressure system down from the Gulf that's going to be making its way up that's that subtropical jet and they're going to be coming together to bring us those widespread to scattered showers for Christmas Day so the morning through the evening on Christmas Day going to be the rainiest day and then for Tuesday and Wednesday following going to slowly um, um, see less and less rain chances and then it's going to move out. We're going to see nice conditions after with pretty favorable sunny skies behind it. So let's go ahead and take a look at how much rain we're expecting. One to two inches, light to moderate rain. This is going to remain more of a drizzle than anything and more of a light rain. Could see some heavier rain pockets, of course, but we're just expecting it to remain nice and light. So 90% chance of those light isolated showers for Christmas Day. And then as we head into Wednesday and even Thursday, clouds decrease for a very nice sunny day ahead. So it's going to be nice and sunny and really um, favorable heading after Christmas. So if you're making your way back later, that's probably preferred, but we shouldn't be seeing too much travel impacts. Here's your weather picture of the day. We have a beautiful picture. Thank you, Camila B. in Evans, Georgia. Photo of after some evening rain, I came outside to find a huge rainbow in Evans. Look at that.